Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to notify everyone of the weapon transmogs exclusive to Mists of Pandaria Remix and how to obtain them. First thing to mention is, I got a video idea from Thrawn Gaming, who also recommended an add-on, which I will also mention in the video. So go subscribe to him as well. First things first, what am I even talking about? Well, you see, in Map Remix, they have added recolors of certain weapons which will not be available once Remix goes away. There is a lot of weapons and they drop from many different sources. As a warrior main, I leveled up my warrior and started collecting. By the way, this is the warrior I used in the video where I compared leveling strategies. See, I told you I would level him up to 70. Anyways, this is the main purpose of this character, to collect the weapon transmox that will go away. If you want to know where each item drops, they are listed on Wowhead, which I will leave a link of in the description. Also, Thrawn Gaming mentioned an add-on called Trove Tally, which shows you which transmox you are missing and where they drop. Here you can see I can choose if I want to collect weapons only lootable as Arms, Fury or Prod. In my case, I want all of the weapons, so I just click on the Warrior tab, which shows me all available weapons. One of the items I'm after and really want is the Protection of the Emperor shield. Oh my, it looks so good! But I want other items, for example, these ones from the Jade Forest, which I'm still missing. There are two possible ways of getting them. Well, three. One is from basically killing any mob in the zone, Second is from completing quests and opening caches of infinite treasure. And the third is by killing and looting rares from the zone. So I farmed, killed many mobs, did some quests and got a weapon that wasn't even mentioned in the troll tally add-on. I guess this is a normal weapon I just haven't collected yet, not the limited one. The protection of the Emperor drops from the Timeless Isle, Isle of Thunder and Isle of Giants. I have tried farming mobs on the Timeless Isle, but had no luck. Also, one thing to mention is that loot spec probably doesn't play a role in looting any of the items, at least in the open world. Why? Because while farming for the shield, I got a two-hand staff while in prot loot spec. However, while farming LFR raids, I always spec into Fury and never get shields, so it seems that loot spec matters only for raids dungeons and scenarios. Another thing worth mentioning is that you are not duplicate protected, meaning that once you gain a weapon appearance, you can get the same one again, which makes it even harder to farm a certain item. And well, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, like the video if you liked it, and while you're at it, try giving the subscribe button a chance, it won't hurt you. At least, it didn't hurt me. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in Pandaria. Bye!